And moments ago, the national anthem and the mental preparation for the game ahead. The week is starting off right. Monday night, and 2K Sports presents the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan here with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for Toronto, are we out there at the Rosen? And at the five, the fifth overall pick in the 2011 draft, a fleet-footed 6'11 big man out of Lithuania, Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Damari Kill, and it's Selinger in at the four spot. And for New York, and down low, the two-time NCAA champion at Florida, the 6'11 tornado of energy and effort, it's the big man, Joaquin Noah. Then it's Anthony, and it's O'Quinn in at the four slot. It had been almost two decades since the Knicks had finished atop the Atlantic Division, guys, and since the most recent alignment changes in 04, they had never finished first. But that changed last year. It'll be the Raptors off the tip. Lowry passes to DeRozan. Back to Lowry. It's tipped. It's stolen by Anthony. A finish. Throws down the breakaway jam. Yeah, he didn't even bother to wait around for any help on that break. That was a one-man job all the way, Steve. He knew what to do with it and when. On defense, New York. Yeah, the Atlantic title had just gone between the Nets and the Celtics for the last 11 or so seasons. But finally, the Knicks were able to reached the top and they did it in a year Steve where the division was loaded with good teams yeah no doubt yeah, with the Celtics Nets and Knicks uh, pretty pretty good solid teams there and, uh, I, I thought the Knicks had an excellent season all in all but in New York the expectations are high and they weren't more than just an Atlantic division title you know nobody responds to an end of game pressure like this guy that's what comes to mind immediately for me he's hit some monumental shots in his career and, uh, some guys just embrace the moment at the end of the game. That's him. And Steve, you look at him, he is a banker. I mean, he really enjoys the physical aspect of the game. We play just over a minute here in the first. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And that's now six points for Carmelo Anthony. They can go two for one. Yeah, they need to play it smart. Make sure you get a good shot first, and then maybe a second possession. Fires the three. And it's DeRozan missing. For New York, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. A look from Rose. The offensive rebound. That's one he knows he should have made. And the Raptors with possession. Four-point game. Gets the bucket. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Sixteen seconds left to play in the first quarter. Got a piece of it. Noah dishes to Rose. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul. Outside Holiday. He kicks to Jennings. Off target with his three. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. New York ahead. They're up by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. Well, no team likes to have their first-round pick belong to another team. It gets worse when you're a lottery team yourself and you're trying to build your talent base up. But the Raptors' number 12 pick in this summer's draft went to one of the elite teams in Oklahoma City. Toronto grabs the miss. And DeRozan. Here we go. And Kevin, what I like about him is that... He tends to get hot at the most opportune times. It doesn't matter if it's coming out of a halftime or out of a timeout. Uh, he just has a knack for heating up in a hurry. And one of his other great qualities, Steve, is his quick trigger off the dribble. I mean, he can get his shot off in an instant, a nanosecond. To the paint. 
And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. Toronto with the ball. Pass to Kerr. Outside Lowry. Here's the three. The rebound by Holiday. Well, Clark, as you said, the Thunder got the Raptors' first selection this last year. Only the way the Raptors would have been able to hang on to it was Steve if they jumped up to the top three in the lottery. And as bad as it might seem for the Raptors to have not had a first, I mean, and it is bad, it was as good as any other time for them to not have a first-round pick because the draft wasn't deep, uh, and the Raptors have a lot of young talent already and that they can make improvement with. Now here's Lee. Following the miss by DeRozan. Jennings for three. Gets it to go. That's something we didn't see at all from him in the first half when he had a goose egg from three-point land. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Lowry drives in. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. You know, it wasn't a surprise that the Raptors struggled on the road. Most young teams do. They were 13 and 28 as a visiting team. They did end the year looking a lot more dangerous on the road than they started there. And so Lowry nails both of them. Well, Clark, you were talking about the Raptors' struggles on the road. They didn't have the best road record at the end of the season, as you said, but Steve, they did show some bite with their club. You know, one of the interesting stats from the Raptors last year is they actually scored more points on the road than they did at home, and that rarely happens in the NBA. But I, I think the big thing with Toronto, their defense has to improve more than anything else. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by, Lee kicks to Plumlee. Jennings. Lee outside. Pass to Holiday. Six to shoot. And he draws body contact. Looked like a block and foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. New York shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And you take a look at the numbers, guys. They shot 80% from the free throw line as a team a year ago. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Lowry gets a screen from Selinger. Lowry passes to DeRozan. From outside, off the mark. He gets it up. Cannot hit. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Knicks lead by three. The Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce is coming up next. Then it'll be on to the third quarter. We'll see you then. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's a good one going out in New York. Glad to have you with us for our halftime show. The Knicks have been plugging away. Nice ball movement offensively, making the extra pass, and it's paying off. Carmelo Anthony got off to a good start, and they love the output they're getting out of Brandon Jennings. And for Toronto, they've been battling. They've been aggressive, drawing fouls and converting from the charity stripe. A valuable contribution so far by Kyle Lowry. No big numbers by his name in the box score, but he's doing the little things out there to try and get his team the win. And that'll be all for this episode. It's in the books, and I'm all done reading. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Carmelo Anthony. I like that he didn't force anything in that first half. His decision-making was really flawless. That being the case, Steve, I think they want him to be more assertive in the second half. Look to take more shots. Be a little more shot hungry. Even the tough ones. Raptors trail by five. Well, for so long, the Knicks have been the punchline of the Eastern Conference the last decade. Poorly managed contracts and questionable trades really kept them from rising to the top in the East. But once again now, they look like a powerhouse. 
New York with the ball. Five point lead, the biggest of the game. No good with the triple. Well, it happens. He's wide open, but just couldn't get it to go. The D got there too late, and he'll go to the line. And Clark, you were right. The Knicks were a powerhouse last season. Steve, 37 wins against the rest of the conference, and they just would dominate other teams at times. Well, they're a team that doesn't really want to run a lot or force tempo. They just kind of want to get you in the half court. They don't turn the ball over, and they bury you from long range. So you know, they found their identity last year, and it really dominated in that Eastern Conference. Now here's Anthony. He has six. Anthony missing again. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Or the defenders have to make sure they tag him. Goes and dishes to Selinger. Here's Valanciunas. It counts. And the foul. That one's on Anthony. You know, Kevin, he never gives up on a play. That's what I love about him. He just is one of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. And something else you can't forget about is his shot blocking, Steve. I mean, he's an intimidator down low. That one drops. He ties it up. Hey, guys, you know, the Raptors were at the bottom of the Atlantic Division once again this past season, but the silver lining there is that they seem to be improved as a team. The problem is the rest of the division improved right along with them. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Lowry gets a screen from Sully. Lowry kicks to Sully. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Well, I tell you what, it was the good pick that was set that turned him loose. And once he got around it, Steve, it was smooth sailing right to the hole. Well, because of the pick, he had plenty of room. That's why he was able to power down that slam. Well, the Raptors, the bottom of the Atlantic with the record of 5-11 and 11 against the rest of that division. They'll need to do better than that to climb out of the cellar this season. Well, it's going to take a lot. Raptors won 34 games last year, but they still found themselves struggling to win games in the Atlantic. It is a good division, uh, but they can make improvement. There's plenty of talent there, and I think that's going to be one of the keys this year, how well they play against teams in the Atlantic. A different look for New York. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Noah, and it's Jennings in for Derrick Rose. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Lowry kicks to Carroll. Back to Lowry. The V2 to Rosen. Oh, that's great. And now the Knicks on the break. Lee passes to Jennings. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Here's DeRozan. Good on the shot. DeRozan's got six points. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You could see that there. That's the end of the third, and it's all tied up. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. Toronto shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Sullinger with a screen for Lowry with the lead pass. It's going to be two free throws, two contact on the shot. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense is not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. Baker, who's jumped in for New York. Rose comes in for Brandon Jennings. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, sometimes it's contagious. Everybody starts to get comfortable and relaxed, and everything goes in the hoop. Now here's Rose. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way. Lots of room. Offensive rebound. Here's O'Quinn. Soft touch of the bus. Well done, finishing that one off. And here are the Raptors now. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Carroll gets to Lowry. Lowry gets a screen from Valenciennes. Just five on the clock. For the three. Sullinger dishes to Valenciennes. 
Feeds it to DeRozan. Lowry. And the layup's good off the glass. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Now here's Rose. Good. And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Well, right now, it's really tough to stop Rose. Rose against Lowry. The pass to kill. Takes it to DeRozan. The vision out to kill. The Raptors need to get a shot. Ball time! And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Anthony right side. All alone. Again, the miss by Anthony. And they go to the intentional foul. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management crucial. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth. Rose goes in. Excellent D there from DeRozan. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can hear the second. And he does get the second one. And that increases their lead to six. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Anthony for three. And it's Anthony again missing. And here comes Kyle Lowry. And he commits the intentional foul. That's the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. So New York going with almost an entire new group. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Jennings for three. No good. And so it's Toronto winning this one. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just state night sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, DeMar DeRozan.